Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get and play Goldeneye 007. Originally released for the Nintendo 64, I'm going to show you how to play it on the computer. Go to goldeneyeonline.com And once you get there, there's steps on the main page if you scroll down, right here. Click the first one, Mupen64. I would click save. I've already done this. Click save. Save it to like your desktop or somewhere. Or you know what? I save mine to the program files on your account. Like admin or whatever. Program files and then save it. Because it's a zip folder. And then go find where you saved that. Like this. Okay, let's say I saved it here to the min account program files there's mine but originally this was zipped so I would right click and then click extract all and then it would make a folder just like this this would be your folder right there when you open it up it would be like that but okay so now you're done with step one this is only part one of this tutorial step two I would download the first plugin plugin A when you download it, it'll say that I, I would once again save it into your plugin, to your plugin folder under the Moopin64. So you go to wherever you saved it, which should be program files, Moopin64, and then click on it right here, Moopin64 beta, plugin, double click that, and that should be where you save. That should be where you save it to, right there. And this is what you're downloading: Java Direct 3D8. There it is, right there. That's where I downloaded it. Okay. Now, I'll give you step three, and that'll be it for this tutorial. You go to step three is controller configuration for the emulator. So now, to open your emulator, you go to computer find where you saved it, which should be program files, click on the folder, and then it's moving 64 pp application, run. This is, should be what it looks like, except at first years won't have any of these ROMs. It'll just be blank. Now, to change your input settings or controller configuration, this should be up. Now, you have to that you click on this and then press a button on your key keyboard or gamepad or whatever you're using to control the movements in the game like the start button on the 64 controller the A, the B, all these buttons should correspond with the button you want to use on your keyboard or whatever so when you let's say start I want it to be enter I click start press the enter key there it is okay now I have a gamepad so all right now one last thing under the same thing you gotta make you click con controller pack make sure the raw data box is unchecked same with controller 2 controller 3 controller 4 you have to do that okay now that's gonna be all for this tutorial I'll make another one and upload it to YouTube as well